In today's Anime Last Stand video, I will be doing a beginner's guide. Now, maybe a mid-game uh, guide, I guess. I'm pretty much telling you everything you want to know about the game. I'll pretty much be going through every single thing in the game. Things that you actually might not know, like uh, certain techniques, stats, and whatever. So, please do watch the whole video. Subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to hit 20,000 subscribers. I'm only 600 away at the time I'm recording this video. So, thank you guys so much for the re-support. I'm going to keep uploading on this game. Also, Anime Without Defense, so don't worry. And also, go join my Discord server down below if you haven't already. Because when trading comes to this game there's gonna be a lot of trading in there and i'm doing certain videos especially with you guys in my discord server down below and also like the video i'm trying to hit 350 likes under this video and yeah i think that's pretty much it without further ado let's get straight into the video okay so let's get straight into the guy now if i was a new player the first thing i'm gonna do if so i'm gonna go from beginner all the way to bro it'll be organized for the most part but a little bit unorganized since it's not really scripted type video so i just recommend you watch most of the video just so that you if I, I, like i might drop in a tip midway through the video that I think of. So yeah, I might miss a couple things, so let me know in the comments. I let other people know in the comments, so other people get the advice too if they may be new to the game or end game. There's not much end game, which I'll get into later. But my first of the game, first thing I wanna do is redeem all the codes. There's an insane amount of codes. I'll try to put as many as I can on the screen, but there'll be codes that I'll miss if I'm being completely honest because they drop so many codes and I don't know which ones are expired and which is not. So I highly recommend you search up one of those websites things so you get all the codes but i try to put as many as i can on the screen but there's probably is more so keep that in mind and as i drop the video there'll probably be more more and more so i recommend you just go join the anime last time discord and then you'll know all the codes pretty much but when you first join the game you want to redeem the codes now the units you pretty much want to summon for when you're new to the game is sukuna right here sukuna unevolved is a very 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 good unit especially for new players who are just doing story it's very very good so Sukuna is definitely one of the best story units. Any, actually not any mythical, but most mythicals will be decent, but Sukuna is probably the best mythical when you first start the game. Now, also what I want to mention is Escanor, as you can see here. It's also the, it's pretty good for farming in story, not the best farm in the game, but easily obtained as you can see, epic. So if you get, if you get Sukuna and get uh, Escanor, your life will be quite easy. You can also get Goku. Goku is a decent hill unit. He's legendary too. Or you can, uh, other than Goku, you can get Uryu. So these two are also good for story, I guess. But yeah, and then you can get Escanor. I have the exotic one, wherever you get from the star pack. So if you got a little bit of Robux and you want to get um, a cheeky little star pack, uh, you just want to quickly get a farm, you're not getting it, even though it's epic. You can just buy right here and you get a little bit of rerolls and some emeralds too. So if you want to spend Robux, go ahead. But I won't go too much into robux what just happened to my voice i don't know but you want to get sukuna pretty much if you're a new player um any other mythicals i'd probably recommend if you're a new player um yami yami is quite a good one i forgot to mention if you see yami or sukuna they'll help you uh, as a new player quite a lot maybe not towards the end game yami will help you in end game when you evolve sukuna he'll help you in end game so pretty much you want to pick up these units either way so if you see them in a banner and you're a new player and you want to do story solo or whatever you want to do that and you also, if you want legendary options, you get Uru. Uru is quite good. Goku is quite good. Um, and Re um, what's the name? Rukia is quite a good slow unit. So, in the game, you see those units of banner. Go cop them out and also go get Escanor. But yeah, um, after redeeming all those codes, you sh uh, should be able to get one mythic. So yeah. And then you're also going to add the rerolls left over from the codes or whatever if you do get any rerolls. So, I'm going to ex uh, explain to you what the rolls you should be going for. Well, you shouldn't really be worried about uh, rolls at the moment. But they've added the info so you can see... Actually, no, they haven't, but I can show you guys all the info um, later on in the video. But realistically, you don't need to go for anything insane. You don't need the insane rolls in this game, which is quite nice. But they will obviously help you out certain rolls, which I show later on in the video. So that's going to be towards the end of the video right now. I'm just trying to show you the basics. So you got the units. You've done your summons after getting the codes. You want to go to story pretty much. You're going to go here. You're going to go story. And you're going to go to here. Now, you want to do every single story on Nightmare. You don't want to do the stories on Normal because then you want to do it again on Nightmare. The reason is... Um, how do I get this on my screen? Okay. You want to do all stories on Nightmare because if you go to your quest... Um, if, can I show it? Um, no, but basically, you get... Can you see these little reroll things? These are rerolls, pretty much. It's like uh, the rerolls from AA, but in this game, I guess. Called Technique or something. So, you get rerolls. You get one reroll per one nightmare story stage. And it's only a one time thing. You complete the quest. And you get extra emeralds too, which is uh, this currency. So you get this and rerolls, which rerolls is a paid for currency that you get for free. So you definitely want to get that. And you get more emeralds. And the nightmare story isn't too hard. 
if you have mythicals so just try and get one mythical try and get the skill and try and get the army and you'll be set to go i guess the other ones are quite good and if you want to know the best units in the game what units to be going for go check out my last video on my channel where i pretty much mentioned the top 10 best units in the game as well as the honorable honorable mentions but yeah the story you pretty much want to go for completing the story and once you get something like Sukuno, Yami or you got your air unit, your hill unit uh, and your ground unit whatever you got the mythic you wanted you pretty much want to save all your emeralds because the reason you save all your emeralds you want to go and be all the way you want to be at six hollow dimension all on nightmare by the way and if you need to carry something you can go join my discord server down below or the ALS discord where they'll be doing these stages properly so you do these all on nightmare and then you would have locked the last map. Now you don't want to do the last map straight away. I mean you can. Obviously there's nothing stopping you. But once you get the last map. You want to go back to summon. So I know this teleport. I just remembered midway through running. But it's no point. So once you've beat Hollow Dimension. You want to go back here. Um, I don't know why it's bugging out. Okay. And you would have unlocked Banner 2. And this is where if you've saved your Emeralds. You would have unlocked this Banner. Where the best units in the game pretty much come on the spanner the celestials are the best units of the game at the moment at the time of recording this video but some mythics may get evolutions in the future making them better than some celestials possibly who knows but at the time of recording this video banner 2 is the best banner and it's where all the units are at and you definitely want to be summoning on banner 2 is way better than banner 1 because the the celestials which is this um 0.5 percent and there's also mythicals which are actually double rates and you still keep the pity and the pity still carries um carries across banners so you need to go all the way to Hollow Dimension on Nightmare. Spend all the emeralds you've saved up after getting your mythic to help you clear the story on that banner. And hopefully you'll get a Celestial or a mythic. Then you want to be the rest of the story on Nightmare, which is Planamic. And then you're pretty much sorted when it comes to clearing story content. Then, once you clear the story content, you want to pretty much be going for the best units in the game. Which is, you pretty much want to get every single Celestial in the game, if I'm being completely honest. Um, literally every single celestial is meta so you want to go for every single unit that pops up here literally every single one have all have a different use and they're all pretty much OP at the time of recording this video if you want to go check out what is good on the game I will literally have updated videos on this every single time so if you just just check out my channel honestly I know I'm plucking my channel mad but like genuinely just keep checking my channel and it'll have an updated one every single time so yeah just check that out i guess but i mean i pretty I, that, and that's pretty much it you just get all the meta units you can check the tier list you can check out that and then once you've done that there's not really much to do at the game at the moment you can also do the um the quest to get do the infinite quest and you get the little reroll so you could do infinite quests but infinites are quite difficult and if you want to go on leaderboard you have to do nightmare so the, it's quite difficult uh so you need you will need a team for it but yeah also i did say i was going to go over the reroll stats which i will actually go over but also, what I forgot to mention is, at the moment of the game, you probably will have to evolve units using um, challenges. Well, at least for Sukuna, you get these cursed fingers from challenges um, to evolve him. Even though the evolve is broken at the time of recording this video, maybe when you're watching this video, it's fine. But yeah, you go here and you do the challenges and you get evil items, like an evil item drop rates. They might have changed that by the time you're watching this video though, so please do keep that in mind. By the moment, you go to challenges to get the evil items, but I don't know how it specifically works for future evil items, but right now for Sukuna, you go here and you do the stage and you can hopefully get lucky. But yeah, once you have evil Sukuna, you get all the units you want. It's not an insane amount to do in the game, but keep in mind the game just released, so it's just pretty much a short beginner's guide, nothing too special. And it's not really too much endgame content other than the infinite, so... If you get your good traits and stuff like that, then it's quite nice. But now I'm going to go over every single stat for every single trait in the game. So this is pretty much what every single trait does in the game. So if you go to the study one, you don't want to look at the res or the epics. You're just going to reel off them most of the times pretty much. You don't, don't really need them. They're quite self-explanatory. Sculpt 3 gives the most range, gives more range, whatever. Accelerate... Uh, Accelerated what decreases your SP so they attack faster. Sturdy just makes them stronger, do more damage. It's quite self explanatory, there's nothing really much to see. But when it gets interesting, it's mostly maybe you want to look at the legendaries. I'll show you guys what the legendaries do, but it just depends. If you see them and you want to pick them up, you can pick them up. But really, we want to get to the mythical and the celestial, so you know what to pick depending on what you need to have. Because in this game, it's not like um, you can universally use like 
like some traits will actually be better than others on certain units depending on what they do which i'll get into in just a little bit so you see the juggernaut it does uh more than what speed hyper speed you can pause it no i'm not gonna you can just pause it like something's gonna happen you can just pause to see which um trait does what depending on maybe what trait you have so yeah but what a couple things i want to mention is things like golden uh things like diamond entrepreneur um actually buff the amount a farm gives uh, so as you can see right here entrepreneur 35 percent diamond 20 percent and then shining five percent golden 12.5 percent so they actually do buff the amount of money it gives you and things like entrepreneur which is very rare to get but very very broken to get also which is quite nice so if you want to roll on your farms and you're wondering what to get there's actually multiple different ones you can get for your farm so there you go then if you want to get pretty much the unique of this game you're going to get overlord however for certain units which i'll go into a little bit later um actually don't there's like a better ones than overlord but for the most part most units will use overlord and it'll be broken so if you get overlord any unit realistically you want to keep it as long as it's not a form but there's some better options for certain units like for example if you get sukuna or you get any unit that does a status effect status effect being bleed burn where poison whatever they add in the future stuff like that anything that is like a d um dot damage which is damage over time so like the bleed the burn whatever you can tell what it is when you see it or when you know it avatar will actually be better than overlord or close to overlord so you can pick between either one and your status effect which is the bleed burn or whatever will do 250 percent more damage and last two times longer which is very very broken and the alternative which is the worst version of that is elemental master which 75 percent more damage 50 percent longer so yeah and then all seeing all seeing is just like the it's like uh like the celeste like the actual celestial trait like of aa and the shinigami is like the divine it's not the too special actually no, it's the other way around actually but yeah but it's still quite good i'll still keep them obviously i'm not gonna roll off them if i get them but the top two is avatar and overlord but all avatar depends on what you need to have on but you keep it either way I guess, unless you're rich, then who knows. But yeah, but to pause, uh, check out the stats for yourself. I showed them all on the screen. You can just pause, scroll up, whatever you want to do. Yeah, I'm, but I'm not sure if I'm allowed to leave a link to the doc in the description. I'm not sure since um, it's not like they've sent it everyone. They sent it to content creators. So I'm not necessarily sure. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Actually, no. I forgot to mention how the skill tree works. So yeah, let me just go through that real quick before I end the video off. So, you might have actually not noticed, or you may have noticed actually, that there is a skill tree in this game. And I've actually unlocked quite a lot of it. So, I'm going to do my skill tree for my Satoma right now. So, pretty much how this thing works is, I know you can't see some icons because it's just grey. That's just, I don't know, they're going to fix it and stuff like that. And buff it and whatever. So, keep that in mind. But, so change when you look at, when you look at a game at some point. But yeah, pretty much for each kill you get, you unlock a roll. And depending on which path you choose is what you get. So, pretend I pick this path first, then I'm going to get shattered. But no, I picked this path, so now I'm going to have to get uh, crit damage. And then from crit damage, I can go on. I don't think I can go. I can go on to any of these three because they just got up. So, the SP is quite high. I could get more range. Range would be quite good. But then if I got range, I'd have to get uh, unlightened power. But what uh, I don't want is... Actually, do I want... I probably want, yeah, I want this one. So I'm gonna go. I need Saitama needs more range, so I'm gonna go here. And then if I wanna go here, I can go here. And then, but then what you can't do on the paths. So depending on which one you pick, you can't just go here. And then yeah, let me just pick that. No, because it's not on the same path. But for certain units like regular DPS units, you probably wanna pick a similar path to what I'm choosing. But it just kind of depends on each unit. Like some units, like for example Sukuna or the Burn Dot Damage bleed units whatever you want to pick uh the elemental damage ones and things like that the elemental ones are like up here elemental penetration or whatever but like the dps ones you want to uh like raw dps you want to pick like stuff like a bullseye master or something or devastation mastery stuff like that but um i mean yeah i'm there's not much i was to say 15 percent damage yeah i'm gonna pick this to be honest 50 percent damage is quite nice and then, oh, but that's quite good, you know, 50% range, minus 10 SPA. Oh, that is actually quite nice. I don't know if I should, well, I haven't unlocked it yet, but I see. But that's pretty much the skill tree uh, in a nutshell. I'll probably have it for some other units that I haven't done yet. Actually not gone, I barely even place him. 
Yeah, no. Um, do I have? I probably have for my. I probably have some for my Yami at this point since I keep using him to farm because he's a very good unit to to be farming with. So keep that in mind. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you find this video useful. If you do have any questions, let me know in the comments. Me or some other people will respond to your comments. So please do let leave them in the comment section down below. And also go join my Discord server down below to get carried. Be my future videos. On this game, I'm going to do some videos on my Discord. I'm going to add trading, which is coming soon. My Discord will be quite active for trading, so please do join my Discord server down below. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please do subscribe. At the time I'm recording this video, I am like 700 away from 20,000 subscribers, so please do subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.